everybody, it's Gail from me, myself, and Mary Kay. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. Okay, so I thought I would jump on here this morning and uh, give you just a step-by-step -step run through of what I do on a typical morning um, to get my face prepped for my makeup. Today's going to be just a quick day. I got one errand. I'm actually not even going in the store. My son won't let me go in, but I'm going to get to go out and get in the car and go for a little ride, which is good. So I wanted to walk you through what I use to get my face in tip top shape for my makeup for the day. Typically, I wash my hair, I do my showering the night before, I have a whole little evening routine that I love to do each night before getting in bed and lighting my candle and uh, reading a book before falling off into la la land. So, I've got my washcloth here, I've got my products here, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. To start off with, my skin, it's basically normal to oily. I get very oily still in the T-zone, like a teenager. I can get occasional breakouts. As you can see, I have some discoloration. I have freckles. I have always had freckles since I was a little kid. So uh, yeah, that's what I am dealing with. So what I start with um, is a wet face. I've just got a washcloth here. In the evening at bedtime is when I use our Skin Vigorate brush. I don't use it in the morning because I used it the night before and I don't want to be too hard on my skin. Um, you know, and so, you know, my skin, I haven't been outside and exposed to a lot, so I don't need to come in with it again in the morning. That is not to say you can't use the Skin Vigorate brush in the morning. You certainly, certainly can. That is fine. I just use a washcloth. Then I come in with my Mary Kay Time Wise. If you can see this, this is our old packaging. This is our normal to oily cleanser. This does, this whole set is wonderful. The Time Wise set is really cool. It defends against free radicals. It delays, it's called 3D delays, defends, and delivers. It defends against free radicals. It delivers from premature aging with UVA and UVB protection, and it delivers the look of premature aging skin. That means fine lines, wrinkles, smoothness, resilience, luminosity, and softness. And this is wonderful. So I just take a damp washcloth, I put a little bit on, you don't need a whole lot. It's a clear gel that will lather and it's got little blue beads in it. Um, and it's, it's very easy on your skin. It's not harsh because with, it's probably not gonna show up here real well that I'm lathering it, but it, uh, it's on there. It, well, um, it won't irritate your skin because as many of you know, if you have problematic skin or any kind of sensitivity, any kind of unnecessary scrubbing, scratchiness will only make matters worse. So you really want to be gentle uh, with this cleanser. And again, I use the normal to oily during the day. It, Nighttime, I use a different one. And you just wanna pat, pat, pat your face. You don't wanna tug or pull on it. The next thing I do after I've cleansed and dried is I use our Mary Kay Clear Proof. This is our blemish control toner. This has 2% salicylic acid in it, and that has been proven to be very effective in fighting acne. It also closes up your pores. So I just put a little bit on a cotton square. You don't need a whole lot. And I will just let you know that this is going to close up all your pores. And I'm just going to wipe it all around my face. You can use it just in your T-zone. 
get alongside your nose, your chin, your forehead. Now, um, some interesting facts are 84% of people who use the clear proof line said their complexion looked clearer. I also take it down on my neck a little bit. Their complexion looked clearer. 82% uh, saw a reduction in the severity of acne and blemishes. 80% said that it helped fade the look of their blemishes. So it really, really is a winner. And I use it just to close everything up. It uses salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide to attack acne breakouts. So good stuff there. And again, you know, I don't have like super bad acne, but it just closes my pores and cleans everything up and removes any surface oil. Next, I come in with one of my favorites, um, my satin lips. And again, this is packaging from Christmas uh, that I use because I love it. Okay, then I come in with, this is the Clear Proof Acne Treatment Gel. This is a 2% benzoyl peroxide, so it's not going to over dry your skin by any means. So feel free to use it if you need to morning and night. That's what I do, just because I want to keep this matte, keep the oil under control, and this is where I get oily. And especially in this heat, you guys, it is so, it's supposed to get up to 110 Friday and Saturday this week. Today is Thursday. I mean, that's crazy for Chicago, right? You would think I was in Texas or something. But this just sort of absorbs and stays a step ahead of any future breakouts. I give that a second to just soak in and absorb. Again, it's safe to use morning and night. It's not going to over dry your skin. And then I come in with our Mary Kay 3D. This is our age minimizing um, moisturizer. This has an SPF 30, which is wonderful for daytime. So again, you want to use what you use during the day with SPF and what doesn't at nighttime. And I like to pat, pat, pat this in, and I also bring it on my neck and your decollete area. And I even kind of, you know, just let my fingers go over my lips. We do have a sunscreen uh, lip protectant too, which is wonderful. I use that all the time on our boat. Then lastly, I'm going to use our TimeWise 3D. This is our eye cream, age minimizing eye cream. You want to make sure to use your ring finger and you just apply a few little dots. I come up and around and I also get my 11s, 11s, like so. And you just want to pat it in. Don't get too close to your eye socket because um, eye products can move. Got my hair in there. But this is where you're gonna show your age, right in here. So I take this up on the sides, through my eyebrows, in my 11s, and I do both eyes. Don't come too close though, don't push it up because you'll it, it's going to move. So that is what I do. If I have anything left on my fingers, I just do this. That's what I do. So this is what um, I do every morning. Um, at my sink and also in the shower. So uh, that's it. It's really that simple. Doesn't take but a few minutes, but it gets your skin in perfect condition to either leave it like this or get it ready for makeup. So I'm going to throw some quick makeup on here. Nothing fancy today. Like I said, I've got more house cleaning to do. I'm gonna mop my floor today, but I just thought this was the perfect time to show you my morning routine. So um, I'll check back with you in a few minutes. All right, guys. Hi guys, I am back. So this is today's look, just very light, very natural, nothing over the top. Really lately it has, well, it's always been for me, always, always about good skin. Listen, if your skincare routine is a two, your makeup is never gonna be a 10. So 
get in your game. I'm here to help you. This is my look today. Again, it's really just very natural. I didn't do any eyeshadow or anything. I used bronzer. Um, but what I did do, and I'll give you just a little tip is, first of all, I switched up my foundation today. I used our Mary Kay Full Coverage. Well, actually, it's a medium um, foundation, but it gives you full coverage. So another great option that Mary Kay offers. We've got different uh, skincare or foundation lines, if you will. Um, whatever suits your needs. So today I just thought I'd put a little more on. So that's what I used today. I also then powdered with our Mary Kay. This is our mineral powder foundation, but it's so light and natural that with our brush, you just swirl it. You can use it just as you would, you know, your translucent powder, just a slight bit more of coverage here, but not a lot. So it's just very natural. And so I just did that today. Before I put my foundation on though, I did use our Mary Kay. This is our oil, oil mattifying lotion, which I love. And this is a must for me in the summertime in my T-zone because I get so oily in the heat. And I think really pretty much most of us do. So that's what I did today. And then lastly, I thought I would just share with you a quick little tip. Um, you know, if you're doing just a natural look, or if you're doing a fun glam look and you're thinking to yourself, you know, what color blush should I use? Well, here's a fun little trick. Pinch your cheeks. Just pinch the little apples very lightly of your cheeks and that natural flush color that you get, boom, that's the color you want to pick to put on your cheeks for your blush. So let me show you today what I did, if I can get this open. This is what I did today, strawberry cream. That's how I roll. So yeah, get the best natural skin that you can, then you don't even have to wear any makeup. But that's my routine. This is my look today. I'm gonna go throw some earrings on and scoot out the door with my son. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave comments down below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And please hit the subscribe button. I would love to get to know you. And that way, if you also hit the bell notification, you'll get up to date um, notifications when I upload new videos. And I usually do that too sometimes three times a week, depending on my schedule. So that's it for you today. Have a blessed day and I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, great big hugs from me to you and have a great day. Thanks guys, bye.